Massive game coming up. Marvel Stadium, round one clash. St Kilda, Fremantle, the roof closed. The spots are rain outside, but we're expecting it to be closed for quite a few of the day games again in 2023. And we're all waiting for the start of this one. Not only what can Fremantle do in 2023, but Ross Lyon coaching his old team against his old team, Jared. We're waiting to see what kind of St Kilda we're going to get as well. Oh, it's exciting, Dwayne. We know they've got a few injuries, but it's more about uh, who is playing rather than who's not playing uh, right now. He's got the uh, band back together, some of his old charges uh, as assistant coach coaches. And, well, Pierce has got off to a great start as his first official toss as captain and he's elected to go right of screen and uh, he's a fantastic defender in fact they've got some magnificent defenders Brennan Cox second in their best and fairest pushing up for all Australian he's uh, he could join the elite defenders right now this this year Dwayne and be recognized I reckon he was there last year but the the recognition sometimes comes a little bit after the performance absolutely and Fremantle I don't know how well they went last year sixth last season Won the elimination final against the Dogs and lost that semi final against Collingwood. Massive upside. And so many big stars. They've added Jager O'Meara and they've added Luke Jackson. It's a pretty good midfield, isn't it? Uh, when you think Brody, O'Meara, Brayshaw, Sarong, Aish, Jackson probably in there. And. When you put Jackson as a midfielder, Dwayne, it's a different, uh, it's a different group, isn't it? Unstoppable. I don't know who can go with him if he starts getting 20 and 25 possessions. Alex Pierce, the new captain. One last word. He played 21 games the last season after some injury interrupted seasons. Takes over from Nat Five. Takes some pressure, maybe off Nat Five, who we're expecting to play out of the goal square at full forward today, which is another exciting component of this afternoon. And there was a lot of discussion whether Brayshaw would get the captaincy, but I think they've made a really clever decision, smart decision, patient decision, and give it to a 27-year-old and uh, allow a little bit more growth with Brayshaw and Sarong, who can come through together as they have done so magnificently over the last few years. So five from the goal square, as you can see, with Jackson also about 15 metres out from the goal square. So Luke Jackson, Fife, the potent forward line, Ball in the middle, Darcy and Marshall to go up the ruck contest. And we're underway in the season for Fremantle and the Saints. Great to have your company wherever you're watching. Off the bounce. Brayshaw gets the clearance straight into the waiting arms of Wanganin Malira wide. By Tell. Sinclair under the heat. Ace wrapped him up. Hospital handle. It was a poor handle and a, and a poor route to run. You know, Freeman will be onto that. They just don't really know how St Kilda want to play, but certainly if they want to handle it in the middle of the in the early part of this quarter, they need to be squeezing up. Well, that's exactly what Ross Lyon is chasing. He wants pressure. He wants effort and pressure, and he's got a, uh, a gang tackle there dragging the ball across the line. So that's a good start. Undermanned, we all know. Got some young kids in, which is going to be exciting down the track. Marshall and Darcy go out again. Darcy heads him under the ball. Got the clearance. Hammered at the half forward. Jackson off hands. Slick hands. Beautiful hands. Kick a goal. Is superb from Frederick. Back into the lineup. Didn't play last week. Bang. It was just clean, wasn't it? I mean, that is that is the strength of Luke Jackson to be clean with the footy, understand where the runners are, and understand where the outs are. But this is a big loss. St Kilda have sent a half forward up to the stoppage. They lose the stoppage, allow a quick kick. And it's those chaos balls inside your forward 50. They're really hard to defend. It's good vision there. Wanganin Malira, he's a ball getter. He's been playing on the wing on midfield all his life. But as a defender, he needed to punch that one. And I think if you look at the stoppage and you look about Burns and Hill... They're just covering the same spot, so there's no point having two people in there when you've got a dominant midfield in Fremantle. You need to mix up your positions. Great finish by Frederick. Yeah, so Jackson didn't play last week after a head knock set out last week. Frederick with a quad strain pre-season. Got a few back in. Ryan, another one who's had a limited pre-season back in this week. Marshall. Little bouncer. Clark weaves his way through the traffic after getting it from Hughes. Turnovers, Wachowski was in the area, but Sinclair outread him. Heads to Butler. Ball skids a little. 
Nice collect. Sarong corralled him for a sec, then went at him. It's a two on one. And Nice grab from Young, protected a little by Cox. And, and that's what you'll get because St Kilda are sending numbers further up the field to help the contest and help around the ball. You do need to be a little bit more patient with your ball going forward. Just allow your forwards to come back and equalise forward of the ball. Cox, as you have mentioned, massive upside. Here comes Jackson, stalks it. Howard with him, ball to the back to Sinclair. Crouch. It's a pretty good spot with the kick. Fremantle have numbers behind the ball. Caminiti tries to pursue it for the Saints, the debutant. Cox, Captain Pierce, Ryan. Blasts it away. Might be coming back. It will be coming back. Wood takes the mark. Been in good form pre-season and spectacular pass to Butler. Well, you can see all the Saints players just moving up, pressing up, trying to lock that ball in, and that's exactly what they did. The, the Fremantle defence was really good up until that last kick. They had a couple of players short, so it was just a bit of an early season pressurised kick, a little bit rushed, and uh, an opportunity for them to equalise on the scoreboard through Butler. Yeah, Mason with 28 possessions in the trial against Essen last week. Some players have come into the season hot. He's one of those. Butler to finish off his good work. Across the face. When you're under man, Jordan, and you, you, you're coming in, start of a season, you just got to take your opportunities, don't you? Yep. Just keep the confidence rolling. There'll be more, but it's just nice to uh, any set shots, you got to nail them. Brayshaw. Stand. Hill on the mark. You can see St Kilda just f forcing them down the line, Dwayne. You can see how many numbers they've got in the middle of the ground. It's got Darcy in that Marshall one-on-one. -on -one. Darcy wins a free for the half hole. It was interesting from Ross Bree, uh, the match, where he said he'd studied the Collingwood tape and uh, how they went about it. Almost spectacular, but Owens cuts it off. Slow it up, there's blokes, Matt. Mason Kilda guys forward of the ball. Butler, who probably owes them one, runs to 48, stands it long, Cox got there. Jeez, brave kick by Darcy, but that, that gives you a look into where they want to move the ball to. I think we're, we're also seeing the challenge that Freo are going to face this year. Everybody's going to be looking at the Collingwood tape. So how they react and how they evolve over the 12 months, as uh, Justin said pre-match, is going to be of, uh, fascinating for anybody that follows the, the movement of the ball. Brody to Clark to Ryan to Hughes. Wilson, good to see him back in the lineup. Also showed some good form pre-season, only two games last year. It's been a great comeback, really. And they fan it to the opposite side again. Ryan to Cox, and he's got more space. H is out wide. If the kick's good enough, Sinclair, bang, knocked it down. Burns. Hill. Chip kick. Yeah, That's defensively, good. St Kilda are on at the moment. They're just forcing Fremantle side to side, and they're just squeezing over with some serious speed. Another new Saints stalker, and they got from the Blues. Stephen Silvani's recruited him twice, recruited him to the Blues and recruited him to the Saints. Owens, Crouch, the look away to Steele, who just puts the accelerator in and idles for a while, then goes long to the hot spot. Brayshaw hammers it away. He'll come back. Brayshaw's ball. Well, we know Ross Lyon has to be a little bit creative with this forward line, given King and Membry out. It's Cordy that's also started forward being asked to compete in the air as those balls are coming in high. Well, through the ground, they're winning the territory. It's five inside 50s to just the two, but they trail on the scoreboard. Pierce. That's in Kilda's own moves back. Every Saints player on the ground ahead of him, which forces that kick wide. But this, this is the challenge, Dwayne. You see where they've got the ball on the outer wing. All three man or spares are behind the ball. So if you go down the line, you're going to an outnumber situation. He does. Howard can mark it. Darcy as the crummer. Not his usual role. Brayshaw. He finds some space. Spears it. Tracy on the move. Got hands on it. And then lays a hard hip and shoulder. Frederick comes up with the crumb. Touch play on as you can hear. Battle lost it though. Three. Trouble. Schultz. Is it there? No free kick to okay. Saints had a man dragged down behind the ball.
Josh Tracy's an interesting one for me this year. Jordan, I think it's the year for him to really explode and uh, make a mark. The grab from Wood. Yeah, no lob there for, for him to battle with for that spot. And Tracy does have that opening. Sinclair has an opening. Ryan cuts it off. Couldn't take the mark, but mopped up his little mess. O'Meara, great inclusion for Fremantle this year. Aish, Tabana. Time to assess what was there. It took way too much time. Marshall tracked him down to Aish. Off Brayshaw's hands. Heads to the pocket. Henry got it. Yeah, it's just really good defence by St Kilda. They've, the smother was excellent. They've forced them wide. Henry floats it up, hoping for Darcy. Got there, spilled it. Schultz caught. Hammered. Great tackle from Tracy. Holds it in the area. So he was a big opportunity missed by Darcy. Great kick by Henry. Just saw the, the advantage. Huge pack around it. Darcy, Marshall tie-up. Darcy hits a good spot with the knock. Sinclair knew where he was going. Wobbles it out. Cox sees Wilson. He knew exactly where he was going to knock it. To Aish. Pulls the kick. Top of the square. Great spot. Just over Schultz's head, though. Lands like a cat. Landed for the tackle. Hit the ball in the area. Right, Howard, Wilkie. And now Wood combined. Higgins. That was a good ground ball get in the contest by Hill, which fed it out and gave them some relief. To the wing. Pierce tried to get there for the big score, but he couldn't. Marks. Caminiti. Well taken by Caminiti. Big round of applause from the fans. And if Marshall half forward takes the mark, hands it off. Cordy, another new recruit to the goal square. Spectacular. So Gresham will line up from 12 metres out. So a couple of new recruits combining. The Cinderella story, Caminiti. Invited to train for some match sim, Caminiti. Played so well, they signed him before he went home. <laughs> Cordy been at it as well. Ex-Dogs Premiership player, 118 games there. And Gresham finishes their fine work. Really so clever ball movement, Jared. And we've spoken in the early parts of this game how if you go into an outnumber from a forward line point of view, St Kilda so far up, so the kick out of half back goes sideways. Yeah. And then that just allows everyone to catch up, but it's a couple of handball chains in this play that really force Fremantle to make decisions. So that handball right there to Cordy, and you've got to trust the player that's calling for the ball that they've looked down further down the field, seen the advantage that they can go to, and trust that they've got some time and space to run into. So that was a couple of modes in terms of their ball movement, really smartly done. The play on from a mark normally by handball has just become uh, so more prevalent in football in recent times, but in particular, you can almost see every club is trying to just get that ball on by hand and release a player to run off. And their pick 10 as well. Filippo knew exactly what they were planning to do. They're all in sync with the new guys. There he is, Filippo. Nice flick over his head, but the handball is looked good early. Yeah, He's going to have to look really, really good to get a... Now, rising start nomination <laughs> given Sheasel's first game, but he started well. It's only early, Dwayne. Yeah. That was a really clever handball. He knew exactly what to do under the heat. Good start by St Kilda. They'll be thrilled uh, up in the box. Marshall, it's down of it by Darcy. Steele. Good trap. Ryan under the heat to Cox, to Pierce. Pressure on the kick, but scoots its way through. Good pick up from Hughes. Clark, Bouncer, Tracy, Brody, Fukowski. Yeah, a little bit, la right. little bit lazy there. That was a bit undisciplined. They had them covered. Turnover was just about to be affected. Chapman, the hero in round one last year with the hand of God spoil to get the win against the Crows for Fremantle. Dan. Wilson. Schultz. Dan. He's Marshall playing in front of Darcy. Further down the field. Sends it long. Jackson tried to outreach Marshall, but he was right in that spot. 
as you mentioned, Jordy. It was a really brave position to take because you're a kick away. You don't really see the two big ruckmen behind you, but he just knew he had to stay in front, not to get blocked and have a launch of the ball. Clever kick. He had two options short. He sucked up the Fremantle first line of defence and went over their heads. And Filippo had some poise there, the debutant. Their pick 10. Long kick, Cavanini! Couldn't quite grab it. But he's hitting the contest well. Off hands. Higgins swoops. The Hurricane Higgins! <laughs> Well, it's a good Cronulla, Philippo to Caminiti, and then goal by the Hurricane. Great start by the Saints, and a good turnover, good ball movement from uh, deep in defence to cross the ball and to excite the uh, fans that have turned up today. Yeah, you can see defensively what St Kilda are trying to do. They're trying to force them one side, so they give them that, that kick wide, allow that to happen, and then they really squeeze up. And that's what makes it predictable for Marshall yeah. to be able to be down the line, hoping that that's where Fremantle want to go. And then off the back of that, they switch the ball, get their runners involved. Three goals in the trial against Essendon last week. Higgins, so another of those that's coming to round one in good form. Little roll off from Hunter Clark. Gets it back for the one-two. No one's in the square. It's a bouncer. It skids. And it's dragged good. over the line. Cox, it was spinning like a 9-9. No, no. So at the moment, this is Fremantle's challenge to try and break through this zone of St Kilda. Young. And how do they not get sucked into kicking that wide one and then get shut down? Try and keep it in the corridor. Shank that kick a little. I'm not sure who he was intending to get it to, but Tabana and Henry were both there. And Justin Longmuir Rock. leaning back. He's a Luke. little edgy, fourth Rock. season as coach. St Kilda Rock. Yep. 12th, Thanks. 11th, and 6th Dang. so far. Jackson into the ruck now. Against him, Cordy. Hunter Clark, Owens, little opportunity. Henry, Pierce, asked his back. Got it to the wing. Howard dumps it away from Tabana. Brody over around it. Hunter Clark grabbed it, spun into a jam. Sarong, nice hand off to Frederick. Burst through a tackle. Schultz normally uses it well, and that is what well, was delightful until Tracy didn't take the mark. Got a free kick for over the shoulder, but uh, as you said, Wayne, if uh, Josh Tracy is going to make his mark, you've got to swallow those. Yeah. But he take his mark to make his mark. That was a brilliant kick by Schultz. Stocker. Cavanini stripped of it. And it was a good tackle. He uh, had an opportunity to mark it, but in the end, went to ground. Good second effort. Cool. Cox. He had a handball that it would have been deliberate. He was in, he was in no man's land. He was a bit stiff. He was. Clark. Chapman. Again, every Saint ahead of him on the ground. Cox. So trying to pick their way through the gaps. Back to Clark. Yeah, this is where you need handball receives. You can see how set St Kilda are. And they'll let them chip around here all day. They're prepared to hang back. Wilson dances his way around Owens you. and launches long. Jackson's back there. Good play by Wilkie. He chested him under the ball, so he was in the right spot. Here's Filippo again. Comes from good footy stock. Father was a star. Grandfather was a star. Finds Hill. Off the run, they travel. Crouch. Just over the head of Owens, but he's good enough to get it. Here's good enough to get him. Had the opportunity just to tap it over there, but uh, went for the handball. Hill, kick half smothered, still in the area. Good pursuit from Owens, couldn't pounce on it. Almost a push in the back, no free, played the stocker. And the dock is away. Tabana, O'Meara, downfield, Jackson. He's got Fife in a one-on-one -on -one forward. Wilkie in Fife. Hughes didn't want it. Sarong turns it over. Wood. And here they go on the rebound. 
Crouch. Hill. Webster. Owens. It really seems at the moment, because Fremantle aren't challenging St Kilda with their ball movement, they're conserving energy on defence. So then when they get the chance to turn, turn the ball over, that's when they explode. And Fremantle just at the moment are, tr are trying really hard, but they just can't, can't stop them or can't keep up with their running ability. Owens bends it, didn't get enough on it. I think they haven't been able to play the game, too. Just haven't been able to control the ball by foot. We all uh, seen Frio's game plan evolve, and it's going to be challenged this year. And it's been challenged in the first 15 minutes of the season. I think Ross Lyon will be very pleased by the style of play from the Saints. Really difficult to move the ball against. But then the new Ross Lyon style has come out with that ball movement. Really exciting, fast footy. Brilliant crumb from Schultz. What was the kick short to Fife? He's got him over the top. They've got a selection of two. Much better from Frio. Schultz has the pocket pass. He put it too far in front of Tabena. To Switzkowski. The Ziggins Switzkowski. Post. Very stiff. Good move. And a little bit more speed from Frio. May just be what we see, given that uh, going slow is going to be pushed, going to be really difficult, particularly early in the season where the leagues are fresh. That's on five. Malira to Webster to battle. That's on five. You. I'm going to Malira. Dad. Dad. Howard. Dad. Oh, should be 50 metres. Wow. We'll play on. Toward Marshall. He's marked that. That's He's okay. juggled that into his lap and he hasn't been paid. Doesn't argue the point. Yeah, just Ooh, hit the ground. A little bit of grass. Swakowski. Howard. Intent to see it out. They're both sides sending numbers up in and around the contest. So just at the moment, you'd think they'd like to chain out of that, that type of setup rather than kick to a, an advantage towards the defence. Marshall to Crouch. A little dribbler from Hunter Clark. Steele, again, just puts the clutch in and slows time. Pierce over it. Butler traps it. Got it out. Clark. Aish in the back. Had a terrific season last year, Ace. Suggestions were he's going to play a bit more inside if needed this year, but he's a, another player that's right in the middle of his, the best part of his career. Chapman Buller pass to Young. Sokowski, his target, got it. Caught into it by Fife nicely. Good ball movement there by Freo. Moving it on a bit quicker, hitting loose targets. Tracy the target. Marshall gets back in the hole. Schultz crumbs it and three jump on it. Thanks, guys. Rux. Rux. Sean. Rowan. Thank you. Marshall Darcy to throw a blanket over 15, 20 of them. Schultz gets on it. High contact. And got the high contact free. I was about to say it'd be hard to get a, a possession in and around that contest, yeah, Wayne. Just a free kick. It's just a let off. Been a terrific pick up, Schultz. Hasn't done it the easy way. He's just kept working and working. Finished high in their best and fairest top five for memory. Yeah, two best on ground, three vote games last year, according to the umpires, and makes it a two point game. You shed some weight in the off-season prior to the 2022 season. You could just see the benefits. Just being able to play at a really high level for the entirety of last year. Just there, Ducks. A little bit lazy in the tackle.
good numbers for a bloke who's nominally a small forward. Six touches and a goal in the first quarter. Everyone pushes up, gets the uh, share in, but he's doing his damage closer to goal. Good start of the contest. This is the only time these two teams meet this season, unless they meet in the finals. Their round one meeting, the only home and away meeting schedule. Free kick, Saints, it'll come back. Steal. Had Sinclair short. Heads long, goal square. Owens, Marshall. Marshall called back. Owens! Got enough on it! Well, the footy got smiling there, I reckon. The mark should have been paid for mine, but nevertheless, it was interesting he decided to kick it long Sinclair instead of handballing to release Malera, who could have run in and kicked a goal, but uh, nevertheless, he, he went the long option. And uh, would have played this one, Jordan? Yeah, I would have. Yeah, I just thought as soon as that free kick was paid, Marshall took off. And that has been the Achilles heels of, of Darcy on occasions where he just gets lost in traffic and doesn't hit back as hard as he possibly can. So Marshall saw the opportunity to really go back hard towards goal, provide an option, and Sinclair saw that, just got the power in his legs to kick it as deep as he possibly could. Clear the numbers. Marshall and Darcy go at it again. Darcy, a little palm on it. Brasher almost held before he got it. Sarong almost caught high by Gresham. Umpire lets it roll. Crouch rolled. Well, it's pretty fierce inside that uh, centre square at the moment at the bounce. Bounces. Flick down good. Vitell around his body. Half forward. Use of the body superb from Ryan. Didn't overcommit with the hands on the side either. O'Meara. Third club for Jager. 99 games for Hawthorne. Four for the Gold Coast. Clever recruiting, though. It was just fantastic. They found someone to replace the irreplaceable in Mundy. Fife got up there, slipped through his grasp. Sinclair had a chance. Rookie. Stockers looked good at his new club as well. Bytel. Bounces it towards Caminiti, wins himself a free. Yeah, held his position really well, Dwayne. It's not advantage. Allowed to go. Not allowed. Higgins thought they would have been. Held his position really well, so you can see the strength already that he possesses. He doesn't look like a big stocky player, but, but Alex Pierce trying to move you off the ball. He held his ground really well. He had an ankle injury last year, was a state rep as a kid. Well, got the late call, as we said. Long kick. It's a pretty good spot of that Darcy read to perfection. So that's better. Goes in deep inside the Ford 50. Marshall's just outside. So you'd like Marshall to go in there and equalise if you possibly can. Frederick. Aish. Thinks about the switch. Sits it on Amira's head and steal with the steal. And really why he had to go short was, was Marshall was down the line as that, as that advantage. Caminiti's there, Owens is there, Cox wins with his fist, Brayshaw. Splendid pick up by Frederick to Henry on That's the back pedal. Fife comes up to grab one in the middle of the ground. Long spear from Sarong just out in front of Jackson. Has he got it? Had it, lost it, left it, toe poke. Flicks the handball out, superb. Great second effort. Bangany Malira out wide. And Steele flicks it on to Wood. On the rebound, the Saints. Heads long, Gresham is target. Couldn't pull it in. Left inside the field of play, though, hoping. And the cavalry came to Fremantle. Young back to Frederick. Steele flicks it away. Five there to lend a hand. Turned inside. Back to Brayshaw. Being played at a breakneck pace at the moment. Low ball. Amira couldn't scoop it up from the grass. Crowd screaming. What a ball. Five back in. Third effort in this string. Flicked out the hill. Open space if he can find it. Outside of the boot. Little roller. Scoots past Higgins. He wanted the flick on, but he didn't have any friends. Pierce. Wilson. He's caught. Wrapped up. Wing tackled. Dropped it. No prior. Umpire said no free. Ball back out towards the wing. 
and taken out by Hughes. Yeah, they're doing the locals because there was a tackle there that had to be paid. But irrespective of that, Ross Lyon and the Saints fans would be absolutely thrilled with what they're seeing at the present time. Seconds remaining in the opening term. Time enough for a score to either team from this ball in from the wing, but they are spent right now. The siren not far away for them. It's never a nice feeling, Dwayne. First game of the year, first quarter has been played, as you said, at breakneck speed. Flicked in the air. Darcy with the fist. Hill knew exactly where he was going. Henry had a chance. Chapman flicked that. Was it a throw? It was. Holding the ball. And that might do us. Quarter time. Marvel Stadium. Rip a start from both teams. And it's tight. Saints undermanned, but up. 3 3 21 to Fremantle. 2 1. Dwayne today, they've just found a way to get a few on the board early. Dwayne Russell, Filippo to Caminiti. They might be a couple of combinations <laughs> you'll be calling perhaps for years to come. I hope so, Sarah. Filippo, as you mentioned earlier, they came from different directions to get into the AFL. Anthony Caminiti getting that late chance. And Filippo comes from great footy stock. He actually, I think, asked for Danny Frawley's temporarily retired number two when he came to the club, but he's wearing 25 as he wore at West Torrens, Woodville Torrens. Son of Sam, who played three games for the Western Bulldogs. Don't Google that, by the way, but he is the son of Sam. Grandfather Peter, 272 games for Woodville Torrens, and he actually came from the, the Phantoms. Foz Camden was his local club, the team that wears the ghost who walks on their jumper. And it's a great footy story, Matthias Filippo, as is Anthony Caminiti, who... Well, he played a, an internal trial for Carlton and played so well on Jacob Wiedering. Jack Silvani mentioned it to his dad, who happens to be the recruiting <laughs> manager of St Kilda. Well, I always used to say, Dwayne, if you're trying well, you get a game, but not only do you play for a contract, you're trying for a contract. <laughs> Second term underway. Darcy and Marshall go at it. So can St Kilda continue this intensity around the ball because they're making life difficult for Frio. They'll be encouraged by what they see on the scoreboard and a big pep up uh, from the coach. But Frio have got a bit, of, bit to say as well. 2-11 side up. Nice. And Hunter Clark who hunted him down and kept it in the area. The intensity still up. Marshall, Darcy, Steele. Loads it. Fists go up. Thumped with the boundary is the safety option. Stayed in though. Gresham kept it alive. Cordy, Crouch, shut down, dropped it. Young. Put Wilson under the hammer, but he was good enough. Brody goes back to go forward. Clark, Ryan, and they switch. Clever. Cox, if he wants to go, has a bit of space. Yeah, but I think once again, Dwayne, they, they couldn't go forward because St Kilda are recovering so well further up the field. They're doing the hard work early. It was really the only option. Now he goes to the one-on-one. -on -one. Jackson got there, got up. Couldn't mark it. A pat on from Aish. Hunter Clark takes it out. Yeah, the Saints are prepared to come forward, even when the ball is in transition. Yeah, we haven't get, seen them get that easy kick transition at all because of the UAS St Kilda are defending right now, but the free kick has been paid. Insufficient intent to keep it in. It was a spoil. Yeah, it was a bouncing ball. It wasn't a, a marking contest. You can do that, but a ball that's not a marking contest, you can't. I don't write them. I'll just try and interpret them for you. Cox. I mean, if you're speaking from a, a Fremantle point of view, you'd like to see the, the ball being transitioned a little bit more. Either handball receives or playing on from this position, utilising that man that is only allowed to stand on the mark and not move. Well, he had the option there. Wasn't uh, wasn't happy enough for the odds, so he ended up going sideways. But see, they're defending incredibly well. Pierce to Brayshaw. Uh, Ross Lyon, well, he's coaching his old team against his old team, but he knows Fremantle relatively well. It's just a question of how disciplined they can be and how long they can sustain this force and kill them. Because it's not easy defending us like this. 
Out wide to Tabiner, who's tied up. Battle won that battle, flicks it back. Wood, who got it from Crouch, gave it to Wilkie. Well read again by Cox. And now they go, Wilson. He's got some space. Bounces his way into it. Nothing to kick too long, though. That's the issue. Ryan. Aish. Frederick. And again, this St Kilda zone folds back. Once again, St Kilda just conserving energy on defence. Marshall pushes back. Almost a second grab mark. Flipped out the Wilkie. Hang on, Malera. Little dance step was good. The kick not so young. Kick. So Kowski can go if he wants to. Does want to go. Brayshaw. Heads toward Jackson. Just scooted past his grasp. Plenty of troops back there for the Saints. That's the hammer. Gone. Incorrect disposal. But that is the kick, isn't it? The young kick. Yeah. The ability to come inside and break the play open. Well, they had to work really hard to get it up to there. They've had two or three goes to try and get an inside 50 kick. But the young one separated. Look, but this tackle was really hot. So the Saints blow had time to get rid of it. But he was crunched. The big summer recruit, Luke Jackson, hasn't scored. The first round and second round pick to go with it was they got their man. And here is the tackle that won him the free. He yeah, just looked too relaxed, Luke Jackson, but that tackle, you're right, it was hot. Didn't have a lot of poor opportunity. I've seen that. Sometimes I think with a kick around the corner on your left, you're better off just doing a banana. If you're not proficient at it, you don't have to try it. Bytel gets it back from Hill. He had to reach back to get it, but he was good enough to do it. Webster, who started this move. Wobbler. Darcy could have marked it, thumped it down. Clark to Ryan. Kicks on the back pedal. Wanganee Malera. Against him. Hey, guys. There's been an injury concern. It's Jack Bytel who's come from the ground. He's just being assessed. The word is they're going to have to assess him. It'll take about five minutes. Okay, so Ben Patton, the sub for the Saints. And for the record, Fremantle fans probably know this, but Bailey Banfield, your regular sub, is your sub again. He was the sub ten times last year, Bailey Banfield. And five of those times, great as the unused sub, as Schultz takes the mark. He took the heat. He knew it was coming. And given some room. Heads long, Tabernas forward. Does he want to take it? He can't. I mean, but that, that's what we're talking about. That, that Schultz type of play when the play on the on the mark can't move. So, so take that ground, get over the numbers of St Kilda. The fan, 50 fans, 50. Yeah. Fans not too happy. Wilkie not too happy. You still can't let it get inside your head and give away a 50 metre though. That's just silly play. Tabata opens up his tab. And then have a go at me, okay? That's, that's, that's considered unfair to set, okay? Got that. Hope you got that explanation at home yeah. as well for what is determined to be umpire's descent. If you look at the screen and then give a overly demonstrative critique of it. Well, you can see why he's filthy because he had his jumper grab. But you don't win by giving away 50 metres. Giving that explanation. Two point game again. Matt Tabner to misuse last year, only 13 games last season. Hamstring, back, calf injuries. So if he has a full season this year, it'll push off O'Meara. Floats it up. Tracy the leaper got up there, almost crumbed his own ball. Rachel with the thump on. Webster breaks for contact. And boy, did the contact come. Vitell straight up in the air and Aish 
floats in and he's got it. It seemed like he held it long enough, Dwayne. I think it was just really good pressure from Fremantle, especially the mids. Once that ball was cleared, they just stayed in direct line with the contest, applied the pressure. Uh, another one. Yeah, they've got to be really careful here, St Kilda. I can't reference the screen or, or question what the umpire, the decision they've made. They're clearly hot on that topic. So they've had it explained to them twice, so you wouldn't think they'd do it again now. Eight goals and Fremantle in front. Surely, surely, I think surely there'll be a third explanation. <laughs> It'll come from Ross at halftime. <laughs> but I mean, I, I think you can look at the screen and then ask the question if that's what they're referring to. You're allowed to have a genuine conversation with the umpire, unless it's in a respectful way. I'd actually go conservative at this stage. Based on what you saw, did you, would you have paid the mark? Yep. Those damn big screens. Showing those replays. <laughs> 25 to 21. Great contest. You Marshall and Darcy go at it again. You can see the disparity on the screen there. The various game styles. It's 61 marks. To 34 marks to St Kilda. Darcy raked it down. Sarong to Brody and he bangs it to a good spot. Tabena was there, but Wilkie got it off hands. Hughes pulls it in one-handed. The leads come. He literally sits it on Tabena's head, and Wilkie takes the saving mark. He's become a really good player, Cam Wilkie. There's another Cinderella story, really. Plucked out of the sandful after a, a premiership season there as a mature age player. And his kick smothered. And taken out of play, Liam Stocker. 28 games in four seasons for the Blues, Liam Stocker. And Freo, I reckon, really up the ante in their forward pressure in this last uh, 10 minutes or so. So Kilda can't get the ball out of their defence. Swikowski turned. <laughs> And brace for contact after the double fister from Darcy. Kicking at 22% in this term. St Kilda, they can't find a target. Brody, slick hands. Sarong, likewise. Hughes, pop pass. Fife couldn't get there. Might get there for the crumb. Might still get there for the crumb. Henry got there ahead of him. Fed in the O'Meara direction, but missed. Henry mops up the mess. Hands it back out. Aish. Needs to bounce here. It scoots, it bounces, it rolls. And it's the wrong side for him. Sinclair quick. Stocker. Sinclair. Steel. Marshall's got a couple to beat. Young's fist. Can't knock it out, though. Hunter Clark keeps it alive. Gresham. Pierce has got three to beat here. Gresham comes at him. Threads his way through them to Young, to Hughes. Brilliant from the captain. Brody, O'Meara. Heads long to Switkowski. Can he get there? He does. No, you're right. That was, that was brilliant by Pierce. I mean, he was 1v3. He could see what was unfolding further up the field, and he had to leave his direct opponent to come and impact that play. They had the advantage, though. They had the, the they had your numerical advantage. The Hunter Clark kick probably should have been a handball. And then they would have just uh, zigzagged their way straight past Pierce, who will be responsible for this goal if it goes through. Good to see Swikowski back. 14 games only last year with that back injury, stress fracture issues. Can't work that back enough. Behind. So they've had their opportunities, haven't they? Inside forward 57, inside 50 to one just for the quarter. So they're starting to win that territory battle. Angani Malira makes Stocker work for it. Heads toward Wood. Can't mark it, but Crouch was in position A for the crumb. Bounce pass to Cordy. Got his arms free. The one-two. Perfection. Back to Wood. The one, two, three. 
Bartel, top of the square, heads long, couple of options down there. Owens knocks it down, but to Frederick's advantage, to Ryan. He's got Tabana out wide, battle, Tabana, Tabana wins the battle. Yeah, that was what's wrong with that kick inside Ford 50. He had a short one into the pocket. One, he, he could have hit the target, one. yeah. And but, but then you switch it across the face of goal, and then you have to chase and try and defend the open side of the ground. Chips the kick in the end. Hunter Clark got there for the contest. Bytel under the ear. Great enjoying the fact they've got a free play on advantage. Butler. Good mark, Chapman. And a block. block. It's a Saints ball. I was about to say it was well disguised, but the umpire that was just out of screen called it. So Caminiti. For his I'm first goal on AFL okay. footy. Time back on. Back pedals. Thanks. Stand, mate. Family and friends in the house. Deep breath. He's been equal to every moment so far. Set sail. Has it got the carry, Caminiti? To the near side. Been impressive to date, though. Jordan, he's uh, could be a remarkable story. Well, he's a good size, isn't he, in terms of his height, but he's relatively light. You just see there, Alex Pierce just blocking him out of the contest, not allowing him to run and jump of it. He's got good strength for someone that weighs 85 kilos. Two players tangled, Tracy and Howard. I'm high, let it go. Howard got up quicker with the two. Good. Crouch. Henry got the kick away just in time to the pocket. A great grab, Cox. Ryan. Chapman. And now they're really having to work St Kilda. That's twice they've uh, gone inside the forward 50 and straight back out. But they cannot get it out of there at the moment, the Frio. Battle the chip over the head of Butler. Ryan. Sarong. Clark. O'Meara. Jackson. Brody. Jackson, slick movement, now Fife. Gets up quickly. The champ's got an option out wide. He missed Frederick and battle cut it off. But it is better ball movement. Challenge the middle of the ground. Run with hands. Just that last kick inside Ford 50, capping off your good work. Now Sinclair with no one to go too long. Hands off the wing and Malira. It's got Gresham over the back. If it's good enough, he kicks it straight into Clark. Now Fremantle on the round, rebound, but he can't collect it. Taps to his own advantage, puts the Jets on, gets a kick, needs a roll. It is both sides missing some really good opportunities just with a little bit of polish. Is that plenty of it, Clark? He's having a big go. 15 touches so far. Stocker launches it. Good attack from Caminiti, stood it to the ground. For Butler. Right tail, couple of bounces. Outside the boot kick. Made Marshall work for it. Got Hunter Clark. Find some space. Onto his left. He couldn't get the bounce. Higgins pounces. Cool. Chapman. Henry. Cox. Young. Yeah, it's almost a win in that rollout. Yeah, just, just having a look at Jimmy Webster, who's come from the ground. It appears to be a hand or finger issue. He's been seen by the doctor and the physio. Just being re-strapped, so hopefully he's right to take his place when he's good to go. He's both sides making it tough for themselves, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Just missing those obvious options, especially inside Ford 50. Yeah, Lana Clark had one basically on the uh, 45, and he went for the kick around the corner. They've had three really genuine opportunities going inside 450 in the last five minutes and haven't got a score. The Saints. Few sounds of the game. Jackson comes in late. Marshall didn't agree with it. I'm sure we won't look at the replay and argue it. Kick. Frederick gets on the end of that Henry kick. 
Tracy, his target. Battle got there to the chop and arm. No. Pierce, three to beat. Threads the handle to Tracy. Fife on the bounce. Good collect. Turns outside. And it's too wide for Schultz. Seems like he's a bit rusty, doesn't he, Fife? Just trying to get the hang of it. Certainly further up the field. A couple of skill execution errors. We don't normally see. He's kicked three goals and three goals in the two games pre-season against the Crows and the Power. So he's had a bit of forward action to get himself ready for this. High contact, High contact free kick to Burns. Well, sometimes further down the field, if you've played there for a, a period of time, you know, you know where yeah. your teammates are, you know where your outs are. Just doesn't seem to come automatic at the moment. Filippo got up. Cox. Handle patted down by Steele. Caminetti trying to thread the eye of the needle with his handball attempt. Brayshaw, clever. Chapman, Zwickowski. Bit of room to move. Heads out to fast Freddy. Frederick's got it. Stand! Stand! Heads long. Darcy's resting forward. That's too wide. Well, even that kick that goes to Frederick, you'd like to see them stay in the middle of the ground for, for a little bit longer and just wait for, for either the half-backs or the midfielders to catch up and really attack the game from there. As soon as they go sideways, St Kilda are just rolling around far too easily. Stand. Crouch got it from battle. Thought about giving it back, but goes wider. Stand. Chip kick is good from Burns. Maintains possession. So turnover, though. Brayshaw read his mind. Just half a dozen errors of uh, cost them with the ball at the moment, St Kilda. Again, wide. Nice leap from Hill in the contest. Rowan. Three men are up, short. Rowan short. The last two goals of the game for Emmanuel. Back into play. It's been a stalemate for a few minutes, though. Ruckman tie up. It's a hold. It's against Darcy. It's Marshall's ball. Launches it. Caminiti. Well, Chapman had it, but then dropped it into Caminiti's lap. He heads long. Wilson. It's great to finish. So three to one. Yeah. That a St Kilda player charging in to try and equalise the numbers, but those kicks inside forward 50 in this quarter have been a big letdown. Only gone in five times, but they probably could have easily kicked three goals had the kicks been better. And Higgins was like Tom Hanks back there. He only had Wilson for company. Couldn't beat him. Off hands. Marshall, Hill. Does well. They're all in his vapour trail. Handed off to steal. Again, he backpedals, pushes the clutch in, goes long, off hands. Higgins again, missed his target. Clark. Good collect. Burns, a sizzler. That's the kick. Yeah. And he finds Bytel. Yeah, it's really been the only chance they've had for either marks inside forward 50 or scoring opportunities. The Fremantle defenders tend to suck back towards the goal, expecting that longer kick. That's certainly where they've found space, so... Really good trap on the exit and nice composure going inside Ford 50. Big kick this. A star mate for a while. Only kicked two career goals. It's game 17. And scores levels about right. Well, he looked pretty comfortable there, Jordan. It's a good strike of the footy, wasn't it? Magnificent. But it just shows you when you can clean up the possession, you hit the targets inside Ford 50. That was a miss handball, but they stayed involved. Ford line pressure, forces that quick kick outside, and Bird coming back in. Just lowered the eyes. Sometimes when you're under pressure, it's nice and easy to go long inside Ford 50. Okay, guys, two of the square one for me, Shane. And this is the kick that set it up. Yeah, when the ball exits your, your defensive 50, if you don't try and find a man really quickly and there's a quick turnover, you can leave yourself 
a little bit of ground to make up. Good bounce to restart it. Darcy reaches over. Crouch pounced. Didn't have much to go to. Henry picked his pocket. Crouch comes at him. He knocked it away. Crab on a ball, don't get ball. Crouch gets ball, gets free kick. Avani's played. Hill got it back. He'll get two handballs in the spring. Butler, silver service, but he couldn't complete the deal. Little tie off the deck was good. Hughes and Philippo beat him to it. Hughes had front spot, but the kid looks good. Well, there's a couple of great efforts by Brad Hill, who just continued to punt the footy, but this is a big moment. Deep breath. You can see the concentration all over his face for the lead. For his first goal in AFL footy. Got it. And they come from everywhere. It's been a really great fight back. Ending up in the first goal for one of the boom recruits for St Kilda. Maybe the best player they've recruited for a fair period of time. Who knows? And there's mum, Natalie, right <laughs> in the middle of the TV. And uh, how proud would she be right now? I've nearly, got a, I've nearly got a tear watching mum with a tear. <laughs> That's how good a moment it is. Oh, it's a memory that stays with you for your entire career, doesn't it? It's always nice to see the family get emotional at that point. There's been a lot of hard work to get him to this point. But he looks like a... He looks like a player. He's a confident kid. He's playing on a good player too. So uh, that enhances the value of that goal. Darcy and Marshall go at it again. Hunter Clark got there. Steele slipped. Flicks to Sinclair. Goes back to go forward to Webster. That's a good little play. Play on though. Umpire says go. And he does go. Crouch. He puts Battle under the heat here. Swiatkowski at the speed, left the ball behind, now hassles him. Battle tried to paddle it, get it to Wangane Malira. Swiatkowski still hassling him. Crouch, Wangane Malira. Kicks around the body towards the wing. Steele and Aish went at it. Brayshaw crumbs it. Hunted down by Wood, trapped by Wood. She a bit lucky there. They really have uh, lifted the Saints. They looked like they'd lost a little bit of grip on the game, but the last five minutes, they've really come back. Wood kicks it up. Owens gets there. He tried the flick down. He knew that Gresham was waiting for it. Sarong was in the spot. Finds Brayshaw. O'Meara. Darcy. He goes long. Tracy. Little flick away, but Wilkie might take that. He's a tough defender, Wilkie. Save for uh, the 50-metre penalty. He's done a good job. Tracy's had a few opportunities, but uh, spilled them. Darcy and Marshall resume hostilities. Good trap from Sinclair. Kick not so good, although at least it gets it to the wing. Owens had a piece of it. Might get another piece. Pierce gets a piece of him. Good crowd in. Opening home game of the season for the Saints. Jackson reaches over, knocks it to his captain, Steele. Marshall, Jackson, Marshall. To Crouch to steal. Hunter Clark, Wangani Malira. Tried with a big talk. Just hit his shoe in the end. Owens. Wood. He's got an option in the pocket. Needs to be a good kick. It's Gresham. It's a great kick. Gresham thought about it. He gave the play on some consideration. Well, you're on the money, Dwayne. It was a superb kick. He just got about a four metre separation, Gresham. You can see a great shot of it right here. Over the top of Pierce. Boundary was a problem, but it was nailed perfectly. 
huge upside for Jade Gresham. Pick 18 back in 2015. This is eighth season. The kind of guy that Ross Lyon could improve to that next level. But that was a horror show. That shot. His attempt at the banana. Ryan. Chapman. Wilson. Chased by Higgins, gets a kick away. Henry's in a good spot. Up early. Couldn't bring the mark down. Howard did well holding his ground. To Crummer. Webster. It's actually the first time Dwayne St Kilda haven't pushed right up to prevent that easy cross kick. And now they've got a problem with the ball going inside forward 50. Sits it up, maybe for Taverner or Darcy or take your pick. They're both there. Tracy couldn't get the run on the leap. 43 seconds from half time. Flung in the air. Darcy, double handed pat down. Crouch. Hunter Clark overran it. Feed off. Webster. Wobbler. And Mitchell Owens. Can't keep it in, but he's content with that. Philippo having a rest after kicking his first AFL goal. Ross Lyon and one of the all-time great cats, Corey Enright, working overtime. Three-time Premiership, six-time All-Australian. Corey Enright, part of the... Well, he's the one man out. He's not part of the St Kilda old school. The rest of them are. Clark wrapped up by Higgins, dropped it. 20 seconds left to half-time. There's a big possession to win here. Clark does win it, hands it off. Sarong to Henry, seconds ticking, heads long, Tracy's in the spot, Howard, Tracy, free kick. Quick ball moving into a one on one. Yeah, There's a couple of times I could have uh, stopped that ball through the middle of the ground, but uh, just they kept at it for you. And Tracy gets his chance, arms around the, the body. Not much in it, but umpires have been instructed to pay them. Well, no descent free kick against 50 gets Ross Lyon, who lost his ball point. And the big kahuna, Josh Tracy, to tie it up at the half. And again, that might be about right. Half time, scores level, final game of the opening round of the AFL season, and maybe we've saved the best till last. 5-4. Plays 5-4 with a half to come. St Kilda coach, second time around. Coach five seasons, 07 to 2011. For three grand final losses, two against Collingwood, one against Geelong, and then eight seasons at Fremantle for another grand final loss against Hawthorne, but overall 305 games coached, a 56% winning percentage. It's good to have him back. Well, he's... Uh... You'd have to say at this stage, they're in front, St Kilda. I know the scores are level, but uh, on a uh, trade-weighted index, I reckon they're, yep. uh, they'd be pretty thrilled to be right with Fremantle. And uh, Fremantle, they would have known that uh, they're going to come with everything, and they have. But it's a question of how fit they are, St Kilda, or they can continue this pressure that's made uh, stifle Fremantle's game plan. And they're going to hope it opens up, and the likes of uh, Nat Fife, who's had half a dozen touches so far, can... Uh, get to work and uh, impact on that scoreboard. Yeah, you'd like to see him injected into the, the middle of the ground at some stage if it's not this quarter in the half or the fourth quarter because he, he has been a little bit fumbly down in the forward line. He hasn't had you know, a hell of a lot of opportunities and the ball movement's been quite slow but just to get him involved in and around the contest St Kilda are, are on top in that area but you'd like to see him just venture further up the field and get his hands dirty. The other one, of course, is Luke Jackson, high-profile recruit. Uh, big loss to Melbourne after a huge uh, role in the grand final two years ago. He's, he's had a couple of moments, but he'll be looking to the second half to really impact on this game. You know, I think from a St Kilda point of view, just keep that, that pressure up. The ability to slide defensively, and then when you get your chance to, to really go from an offensive point of view, but I think the pressure around the ball led by Crouch, I think, has been outstanding. To restrict them to five goals in a half a footy, that's a real win. Most games have opened up, and uh, the scoring's been pretty prolific in this first round of footy. Yeah, both teams have had their share of the lead. Scores level, second half underway. Brody tried to get it away. Crouch will. Hands it off to Marshall. Went with the wobbler 
off the outside of his boot, but he hit the wrong part of the ball. And it was clever by Crouch. He's won us and killed his best, but it was a 50-50, and uh, he got rid of the, his opponent and dragged the ball in. That should have been deep inside their forward 50. Darcy and Marshall again. Darcy got fingernails to it. Touch, Burns touch. touched. Well, 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 so well, Young's going to have to go well. here. Clark. Shorts, can he get it on the skip? He can. And keeps it alive. Inside to Brody. About to be hunted down. Turns it over. Wangadi Malira. Hits the half forward with it. Cordy caught behind. Pierce. Cuts it off. And that's the one thing you've just got to restrict. The long bomb into the forward line. It's well, going to come straight back over your head. Sarong to Young. To Brayshaw. To the pocket where there's no one really home. Good hit his shoulder. Commitment from both players there, Sinclair and Frederick. I still think it was the wrong decision by Brayshaw to cut across Young, who is running towards goal. He's got a clear um, view of the Ford 50 onto his left foot. Let him keep running. Provide a shepherd if you need to, but don't cut him off. Frederick came off second best. We'll keep an eye on him. Marshall, Darcy, all knocked to the front. And the slick Swapkowski. Can he get past a couple? Amazing. Phenomenal. He just kept his cool, didn't he? He rode, the, he rode the tackle from Howard. A couple of really short steps, but we just see the work they're doing around the stoppages. There's a lot of blocking going on. There's a lot of working for each other. Two broken tackles. That's, uh, that just didn't happen in the first half. I mean, it's been a slow start by St Kilda, just uh, with a couple of these errors. And this guy is a terrific player. He is one of the best small forwards going around and one of their best kicks. There's Michael Frederick, who's just come from the ground after that collision in the forward pocket with Jack Sinclair. It was a big hit. Looks like Sinclair's just landed on his left ankle. Immediately grabbed for it. He's come from the ground for further assessment. He doesn't look too upset, but we'll keep an eye on that. Thanks for that, Dal. Back in the middle. Fremantle with the lead back. Marshall, Darcy. Darcy goes to the ground, goes to the Sharon, though. Got it to Aish, to Brody. Hammers a kick just in time. Cabinet, sneaky chance, battle. It's good effort by battle. Stocker to Sinclair. Fake the handoff. Couple of bounces inside. Handball is brilliant. To Crouch. To Gresham. He's got Wood out wide and he hits in lace out. Open space ahead. He's got Owens. That's great ball movement by St Kilda. Dragging them wide and then coming straight back inside with the 45. And Owens was there. And they had another two or three options they could have gone to. So they were really spread and they'd lost their men. Takes a deep breath again. St Kilda Next Gen Academy player. Was number 24, moved to number 10 over the summer. Off to the side. Famous number at the Saints, that number 10. Been some good ones that have worn it. Spider Everett, Carl Dietrich, Stevie Baker, the great Neil Roberts. And Roy Kazali wore it for a, a little while of up there Kazali fame. It's always big Carl's number to me, Dwight. <laughs> You're an old Saints man. You used to stand on the beer cans at Moravan, Jarrett. Yep. Cox. Darcy stands under it. Jackson tried to pluck it. Crouch does. Jackson got it back. Sarong was clever. Tried to flick it up and gets it back for his trouble. And he's in trouble. Well, one of the most impressive stats from a St Kilda perspective is Frio is plus 17 in the hitouts, yet it's the Saints leading the clearances by six. So their work at ground level has been exceptional. Marshall rolls it inside 50. Caminiti tracks it. Clark got there ahead of him. He's been damaging Clark. He's had nearly the most possessions on the ground and he's distributing well. Ryan to Wilson. They switch. They're open on the open side. So Cox has Hughes if he wants to. He spits the middle between Hughes and yeah. Schultz, and it rolls out. It was a poor kick. He had to go to Hughes and then let Schultz be the next link in the chain so they can get further down the field. But that's a couple of times now kick. in the last three or four goes that St Kilda haven't pushed over. There's one just before half time, and they were in the first quarter and a half, they just wouldn't let that kick happen. Clever grab by Brayshaw to Brody. Wood tracked it. Got the handball up just in time. By Tell's pocket picked. 
Darcy looking inside 50 by metre. Will he backpedal and have a crack here? He's got Clark inside. A few metres further out, though. They've left the square oh, open for yeah. the big... Heads out wide. Tabana couldn't take the mark. Sinclair found a gap where there wasn't really one to battle. Just past the outstretched hand of Burns. Jackson caught behind Marshall. Got the reach, though. Tapped it down in Brody's direction. Hits his own ball back, but there was no one to give it to, so turns it over. Saints have a few numbers back, but don't have many ahead of the ball for this kick. Butler knocked it away from Cox. Could have been a mark. He got the high free. Dangerous inside kick. Clark sensed the danger, thumped it on, but he puts it back into a more dangerous spot. Sinclair. To Hill, who put that pressure on, finds Gresham. Options long. He goes too long to Chapman. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, you just got to think that he didn't see Mason Wood, but Mason Wood ran 150 metres to provide an option. All he had to do is just wait the kick over his head. And there was a mark inside Ford 50. Easy shot at goal. Ryan. Dodged the bullet there, the Dockers. Out wide, Fife edged under the ball. Might work though for Jackson to pounce to Schultz. Darcy resting forward, resting at centre half forward. Heads long to the pocket, battle sort of protects Stocker, but he didn't jump in and take the mark. Schultz got it from Henry, goes for home, sneaks it in. And you just wonder whether uh, Stocker was playing on Schultz at that stage. Like, he made the commitment to go, and if you do, you've got to impact and get that ball across the line. There's Stocker, no man. He comes in, he just, I mean, didn't have any impact, and then all of a sudden there's people free on the deck, and Tatslotto landed with Schultz. It's the hardest thing when you're running towards a contest not to get distracted by the ball and watch the ball. You've got to be looking around. Looking around to see if there's any other dangerous players turning your head, trying to reference where the Fremantle players might be. I think Malira in that occasion just got distracted by the ball, didn't turn his head, and Shields just had a free run at it. Nice finish. Sinclair's just pushed over onto Schultz, but we don't know whether that's been a, a change or not, but nevertheless, collectively, they let one through. Jackson climbed high, Sarong wins a free. Fremantle have kicked the last three goals of this game. This is the biggest margin they've had for the game. Wilson runs on, plants his foot into it, goes super long, too long. Howard content to see it out. I like the play, though. Just that run off half back from Wilson. Just get the ball moving just a little bit quicker. Nick Dalsetto. Great to see Michael Frederick back onto the bench. He went down into the rooms with the doctors and physios. Can only assume that he's had that ankle re-strapped and he's right to take his place again. Steele. And Filippo plays on. Was it to advantage, though? Cox says that it's not. And he's just been a tower behind the ball, Cox, as usual. Ryan to Clark, who's had a ton of it. It's a pretty good spot with this kick as well. Can Jackson get back? How was dealt with illegally to Stocker. Wood, not what he had on offer. Tried the razzle-dazzle, but didn't work. Hughes, Swikowski, oh. he parted the seas, went between them. De Henry got away from a tackle attempt. Tabana caught by Hunter Clark. Back in dispute, Butler. Marshall, wanging in Malira. He's got a one-on-one -on -one ahead. It's Gresham and it's Ryan. It's Ryan and it's Gresham. Gresham thought he was going to beat him on the ground. Ryan too clever. Floats it wide to Aish. And if it sits, he's away. It did sit. And he is away. Went inside to Wilson. His eyes light up. He's got Jackson. Can't hit him on the chest. Maybe Jackson should have taken it in the hands. Steele got there. Wilkie. Saints dodge a bullet. Owens. Off his chest. Wilson, Owens tries to mop up his mess and does brilliantly. Wins a free kick. Well, he needed to respond yes. up there, 50 metres as well. 
Andrew Bayshaw just kicking the ball after the whistle had been blown, but a couple of really good efforts defend one. defensively. Ryan being one. A 50-minute penalty brings him within range. He had a shot from uh, outside the 50 and sprayed it to the right, so he's, he's had one sider. This is slightly more comfortable. He'd like to be taking shots from a bit closer, but he gets an opportunity to make amends. Sucking in the deep ones. He had a couple of efforts on the wing. What a drop mark. Then a splendid tackle. That's out to the right. Off hands, Filippo. So two kicks from outside, uh, well, roughly outside the arc. Both gone to the right, so he needs to address a couple of issues with his technique and his approach. Luke, thank you, Matthias. Caminiti does the ruck work this time against Jackson. Falls to Butler. Across the face. So in the first half, they did a great job, St Kilda, of keeping the ball for Frio inside their forward 50, St Kilda, but it's dropped off big time. Stand, play on. Young, the one-two with Ryan, and it gets it all the way to the wing. Darcy, arm chop free, plays on to advantage to Schultz. He's got a one-on-one -on -one ahead as Tabernar got him. Now they feed inside, 50 for him. Heads inside, just off the bench, Frederick couldn't trap it. Yeah, but you can see the intent, though. Really good run by Frederick. Probably could have taken it in the end. But that, that's a difference if Frio can get the ball out of defence. If they go quickly out of defence and you haven't pressed up and uh, restricted that first kick, you pay at the other end. Jackson, did he mean to do that? Across the face. Yeah, you can do some special things, Luke Jackson. But you're right, I mean, the run from Ryan behind just breaks the play open. You get it to a one-on-one -on -one in Darcy with a little bit of an advantage over Howard, and then you just continue to play. Sinclair to Stocker. Kicks down the line. Owens and Pierce. Pierce muscles him off it. They've done that really well. Pierce and Cox for those long down-the-line kicks really held their own in the contest provided the springboard to come back in. It's a good spot. Tabiner's up. Fifth speed in. Brody for the crumb. Hunter Clark got there ahead. Battle couldn't get it up to a teammate. In the end, Stocker got it from Webster. Hammers it back out, but here we go again. Cox this time. He's looked to switch it on a few occasions. All the switches are taken up, so he might just have to go deep back inside. Five can't get a run at it. Jackson does! Knocked away from him last second. Dangerous kick across goal by Burns. Hughes. Ball in works. You guys have been speaking about Cox and Pierce and their dominance. There's also their positioning behind the football. They've got Caminides and Owens as their direct opponents. They're just set up so well behind the footy and able to get those repeat entries. You can just see the work off the ball from the Freeman on midfielders. Short throw in, or maybe the rucks were too far back. Jackson and Cordy. We'll get another look at it here, but this is what good midfielders do. They look after each other, they try and set blocks, create that little bit of separation for their teammate. So you see there, Brayshaw, Fife's come up to the stoppage. O'Meara is around there. Again, it's a shortish throw in. Jackson got there ahead of them. Flick back by Amir after getting it from Frederick. Good truck by Brayshaw. Hits a pretty good spot with the kick. Can Schultz get up? He doesn't go for the jump at the end. And now saving Mark Taken. Although they're off here and running. It's the Mark Taken by Bytel. Burns gets on the end of the handball chain and thumps it towards the wing. But again, they've got the wall set up. Ryan this time. If it's not Cox, if it's not Pierce, it's Ryan. Oh. Chapman spills it. Gresham, his eyes light up and there's nothing ahead. He has to wait. Higgins is working for him one side. He's got the flick kick over the top to steal. They messed it up. Butler couldn't trap it. Beaten for it. Young feeds it out. And now on the rebound, Brody ran to a brick wall. Got a handball away. Turnover from the turnover. Steal. Flicks it. Owens got it. 
Well, it's really been the story of the day. St Kilda's skills are being a little bit messy, but it's been their pressure and their fight work that's given them second and third chances to get the ball back. It's got to get creative here, try and just lay it off. He's had two goes, maybe he believes in three, to third time lucky. Knows he's too far out now. Caminiti nearly crumbed it, nearly won a free throw in the back. He was just turned nicely at the last second. Good spot for a ball up, though, for the Saints. Jackson, Caminiti, the debutante wins it, but not to advantage. Brody, he barrels it out of there. Fife, good use of the body. He's got no one ahead of him. Can he roll it all the way home? He has to wait. Gone. Wilkie wrapped him up. He couldn't turn the clock back there, Nat Fife. It's looked on occasions a little bit slippery out there. I wonder if he just had have kicked it towards goal. It would have rolled on. Clark to Wangani Malira. He takes off. He's got Filippo inside. 50 in space. Oh, and the kid's again. got it. Play on advantage. Owen the Saint goes marching in. Well, it was good transition. I mean, Fremantle clearly had a chance to go inside Ford 50. Nat Fife didn't have any options, so... It was just that, once again, the pressure from St Kilda not to give up. So you can see him there looking around. He can't find any, but Malira down, Wilkie down, and sticks the tackle. But then it's their ability to bounce and try and catch Fremantle off their guard down the other end of the field, and Filippo has shown enough for Saints fan to be excited. Yeah, Wanganeen, Malira to Filippo. I think we're going to see that a few times. So it's a two-goal turnaround, really, because yep. Five took off not knowing there was no one behind him, and that looked as if uh, when he grabbed it, it was going to be a goal, and then they turn it around into a goal. Big clearance to win this. Amira thought he had it. Sarong wrapped up, pushed in the back, no free. Umpires put the whistle away. Filippo reached in. Amira got there first. Sarong does win the clearance. Webster set up behind the ball. Good hands. Did it well there collectively. One pushed uh, Tracy forward. And uh, from behind they got the mark and a good rebound. Got a spark here, the Saints. The one, two, Hill and Crouch. Little roller out of side. Higgins, Chapman. Higgins went to ground. Chapman went to Sharon. Feeds it inside to Young. O'Meara. Crouch shut him down. Out of play. They just keep coming forward, Saints. Whenever Fremantle look like they're about to chain the ball through handball, some Kilda players just keep coming into the right-hand side of the screen. Keep applying pressure, make it really hard to make decisions. They've got Sinclair about 45 metres behind. This is a spare. So, free. I've got one extra up of the contest. Marshall nearly. Aish, clever. Sarong. Young. To Schultz. Nicely measured. On. Henry. Can he hit a chest? But Jackson in a one on two and he puts it out on the floor anyway. Dangerous. Webster good enough though to get it on the half volley back to oh, Wilkie. On the floor again. St. Kilda free kick, so. A little bit of a push and shove between Webster and Tracy. Yeah, it was tough because Tracy was, was going back to goal to try and sort of reset himself. Webster was in the road, so it was just a bit of physicality. But... A free kick where the ball was, of course. Long. Caminiti edged under it. Nicely by Cox with the experience. Been good. Yeah, they lost load, but they're still stacked in defence. Skip pass to Chapman. Back to Cox. Pierce in the middle of the ground if you can. Garcia lends a hand. Marshall crept a couple of millimetres. About to kick into time on this third term. Seven and a half to go. Clark. Pierce. Chapman if he wants him. 
had to use him. Desperately looking for an opening. They're prepared to go sideways again. Play on. Jackson forward. Wilkie got there to crash it down. Crouch. Wood. You've got to get better than that. You just can't keep kicking it back to oh. what they are. But fortunately, they get an intercept. Higgins stole that. Pierce thought he had a touch play on. Off hands. Young. Fend off. Caught. Handed it to Clark. And maybe hand is the right word. Clark to Chapman to Wilson. Out of trouble. Saints set up a wall now for the long kick. Brody doesn't fall for it. Hands it off to Amira. Thumps it too wide for Darcy. Marshall didn't quite get there, but out of bounds is a win for him. No, they just need to keep... They need to understand who he's around. When they start to run and carry, you've got to keep shutting the ball out. I mean, Sarong was probably the player in that instance where they can handle and keep running and then get the ball to a really dangerous position. That kick is non-threatening. Looks like Cal Wilkie's coming from the ground with the blood rule. Just having a close look at Nat mm. Fife's mm. evening. Just the five disposals. He only had one tackle, no scoreboard impact. He's played 100% of this game as a forward. Is it time with six and a half to play in this third quarter to move him up on ball, give him an opportunity to have an impact through the middle of the ground? I think so. I think that's been an, an area where they've fallen away. St Kilda are on top in and around the contest. So he hasn't had an impact forward of the ball. Get him up, get his confidence back up. Get him in and around the ball. As we see Wilkie come off with a pretty nasty gash on the side of his eye which makes them vulnerable down into defense now the Saints he's had a, had a pretty good game Wilkie Darcy rips out of the air Stocker takes it out now yeah, Wilkie's dribbled blood on the most obvious stripe on the white one yeah. and he dribbled it on the red one might not have been so obvious but it is it's going to be patched up and he won't be far off he's not going to have a check by the dock for concussion issues. It'll flick back to Sinclair from Darcy. Well read by Sinclair, but not well distributed. On the full. Henry. Saints getting players back to fill all the holes. Henry sits it up for the leak. Is it Fife? He can't get the jump out of it. He crumbs it. Fife gets his moment. And to behind. Sinclair to stock it. Well, almost out of bounds a win there. He was intending to try and get it to Filippo. He had sufficient intent. Anything by a cox, Dwayne, it's probably a good <laughs> result. Yep. Marshall beats Jackson, but here we go. Pierce waiting back. Chapman dangerously the Sarong hospital handball. Good gang tackling there from St Kilda. It looked like they were going to get uh, undone. But a little fumble from Pierce allowed them uh, to get back into it. Jackson reached, knocked it to Crouch. Brody tried to pick his pocket. Hill is away. Has a bounce. Looks up. Has another one. There's no one in the square. He pulls the kick late. Almost, but knocked the mark for Higgins. Steele. Back to the pocket. Higgins waiting. Young outreaches him. Yeah, 90% of the time they go in the air, they're getting done and killed. Just tiny little things are costing them. A the little chip kick from Brad Hill. Had to hit the target. Gresham not, couldn't quite glove it. Jackson and Darcy. Jackson got up, ball scoots to the back. Sinclair. Howard. Crouch. Battle. Gets past Fife and plants his foot into it long, but Young is the spot now. Can't mark it. Wilson. Brayshaw. Big collision oh. coming. Hughes, front on contact. Took Webster down. Swikowski. Five for two to beat. Went straight past him. Howard. Got open players on the other side of the ground. He didn't want to use them, and then they were shut down, so he didn't have a chance to go back to them. Sinclair. Kick. Burns. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they don't want to go down the line. There's Fremantle players just waiting. Wilson got there, couldn't take the mark, and it's alive. Owens handed it inside. Wilkie got it from Bytel, goes to the pocket. Wood, three to beat. That's Bad a Lucas and killed it. They had a three on one situation. And they got him across the line. I've loved Marshall's game. Yeah, he's I mean, good. he's been going against you see Webster and Hughes, really good contest. Great commitment by both players. Marshall's rucked against two decent ruckmen for Fremantle and held his own on both occasions. He's had a huge game. Owens tries to back out with it. He's got the short. Kick around the body by Burns. Pretty good spot, but Fremantle players behind the ball and Cox wins out. Yeah, and I reckon you're right, Jared. Every time they try to go in the air, Fremantle are really controlling that space. So how do you find out? How do you find little lead-ups? Bradley Hill tried to find one. Or how do you find handball through the traffic? Well, they had the little 15-metre short kick for a 30-metre shot on goal. Missed it. Brody released the pressure with a kick out wide. Marshall got there. Crashed it out. And the Saints have made their sub. It's not through injury. It is Dan Butler out. And Ben Passion has come onto the ground for his first run as Jimmy Webster remains on the bench after that huge collision at half forward. Okay, so tactical sub used just before three-quarter time, which might be around the mark for most clubs using it as a tactical weapon. An extra runner. Aish. Tracy's is a thump away. Wangani Malira. Stood in the hole. Here is Pat. Fresh man on. Got a touch immediately. Owens got up there. Push. Yep. Cloud advantage. It opens up. Wood on the back pedal. Needs a bounce. Oh. Post. The crowd went up as one. That no, was a great passage of play. Really clever handball backwards to set it up. But they've got to switch back on because the rebound is on. Wilson short. Nice delivery, Tavener wheels. He's got Fife or Henry. He goes for Henry. He waits now. Fife is forward, but not a lot of options in terms of space to lead into. So he goes to Swickowski. Good running from Swickowski, and he's a terrific kick. He's the one to be wanting to be leading to. Pulls the kick, top of the square. Wasn't it what I had in mind? <laughs> <laughs> So Patton, the sub, having an impact. Saving grab there. Wilkie's back on strap. Owens. Scores will level at half time if you weren't with us. Saints threatening to tie it up at three quarter time here. Wood with the reach. Landed nicely. Knocks it to Higgins. Plants his foot into it immediately. Gresham. Ryan. Ryan. Gresham. The footy gods keep it inside the field of play, and then it's tapped out. She's a goal either way is a big difference. Taking a two-goal lead to the break for Frio. Jared, just watching Jimmy Webster head down into the room. So spoke about that big collision. It's been a very combative game, but it has been open at the same time, so some uh, injury concerns down on the bench. So there might be a man down then, given they've jumped at their sub already. Steele flicked it out. Gresham trying to thread it through legs. Bounce pass from Ryan. Oh, great smother. Great commitment. Clark's kick bounces out of play and we'll get a ball in with 1.23 left and a goal, the difference. Massive last quarter in the last game of the opening round of the season. Great to have you, Capity, wherever you're watching. Darcy knocked it down, got it to Bytel, floats it, and guess who? They've got them all down there, Cox. This time takes the saving grab and they're racking up the intercept marks to Ryan. Stand. One minute sign being held Two. up on the bench, so the players know. Darcy back pedals. Contest from Marshall. Hill. Howard. Not a lot of room to move. He floats it to Henry. Does he want to go? 46 seconds left, inside kick. Fortune doesn't favour the Brave, it does. Free kick, Brayshaw. So Ryan off and running. Tabner 
They get the last roll of the dice here, the Dockers. Darcy pushes forward. She slow. Switkowski. Fatigue's got hold of St Kilda in this last 30 seconds. Switkowski's got Henry who ran on. Good transition, this one from Fremantle. Let's take a look at the free that uh, could well have been a goal the other way. So Soren about to sound. Henry wouldn't want to play on right now. And he skips. Struck it pretty well, but it's across the face. And who thumped it through? If the Dockers thump it through, it won't count. We're going to have a chat about this. The point could be important. 6-6 six, six to 7-6 seven, six as it stands right now. Big last quarter coming up. Don't go anywhere. Great to have you, company in the final game of the opening round of the AFL season. Because he wasn't going to play as the, as the uh, gladiator in the contest, but it'll come. I think they'll, they'll stay true to their pre-season set up and, and continue to have faith in him as a forward. Final term underway. Marshall and Darcy went at it. Little hold of the shorts. So, well, not sure that Sarong thought it was advantage. He was on the back pedal. Got it to shorts anyway. Flicks it to Hughes. Early entry. Fife about to jump. Hands on it. Couldn't bring it down. That could have been a big moment had he clutched that. Frederick caught by the upper thigh. Not a trip. Sinclair got it from Steele. Over the head of Wood. Ryan looks around. He's got Cox one side. He had Wilson the other. Wilson has the outlet kick as well. Pierce. Clark. It looks also that Luke Jackson will play the, the midfield role we saw before. He nearly got that clearance, got the free kick, but advantage was paid. So Darcy in the ruck, Jackson as a midfielder. Aish. Just getting themselves a bit more organised. Freo enabling them to uh, just transfer the ball down the ground. Darcy, good reach. Big One win. Back. Thank you. Stand. Wow. Tracy's in the square. You. He's leading out from it. Schultz got up there. Almost knocked it away from Jackson. Howard, Marshall, Crouch. Good hands. Picked it up off his toes. Kicks it straight to the waiting wall. Ryan Stand. this time protected by Cox. Well, that's the pressure that the forwards are bringing to bear. And the hack kicks forward are just coming straight back in. Racial. Mason. Mason, come out. Well. Takes off. Low bullet. Darcy had it, lost it. Marshall crumbs it. Battle. Hunted by Schultz. Wilkie. Patton. Good pressure once again. Yeah, I like what they're doing off the ball. So inside the Ford 50, they've got Darcy and Marshall just trying to set him a few blocks to try and get him a run and jump at the ball. Play on. Sarong so hits the top of the square. Big fist come. Wangani Malira floats it out of there. Flies go up. Cox had to knock it down. Did well. Got it to Sarong. Little one two with Hughes. He goes back. Skips it to Ryan. And he blasts it long again. Can Tracy get up to leap this time? He can't. And Wilkie got there ahead of him. It's been good, Wilkie. Save so for one or two moments. He's been really good. Crouch. Wangani Malira. And he puts the Jets on. Swikowski can't even catch him. And he was in his DRS zone as well. Just couldn't skip to him. He could have kept running. Dwayne just kept taking that ground. Once again, a poor kick inside Ford 50. Here's to Young. And he's renowned for his kicking. And he is a, a beautiful kick, but they're the ones that really count under the pump. Had to go the other side of Gresham, not inboard. Howard missed it. Wilkie mopped it up for him, luckily, but it's still in there. Crouch. Marshall. He's kept that low under arms. Did well. Gresham takes off. Little bounce, open space. Floats the kick a little. Caminiti was down there, just over his head. Clark. Hughes, ugly bounce. Patton. Feeds it back inside. Huge moment this. Wood, can he bend it around? You bet he can. Scores level. 
Well, just good pressure play at ground level by St Kilda. Got the numbers there. They, they looked like they were going to get it out, but just a little bit of slow ball movement. And St Kilda were able to shut it down. Just a little fumble. Always is the case. And then they just cleverly move the ball to uh, the left foot. And he nailed it. Jeez, it's a costly fumble these days. Philippo's hands were clean to him as well. I said, it's been a good pickup for the Saints since leaving North Melbourne, where he played 65 games. So Banfield, the super sub for Fremantle, may be preparing to come back on. The professional sub, sub 10 times last year, five times as the unused sub. It's almost as though they pay him by the minute. He's about to come on and get some important minutes. Philippo, clever. Dainty little pass inside 50. Oh, that was high. Caminiti and Owens collide. Cox back pedals. Great smother on the Pierce attempted kick. Chapman, Pierce, boundary line, ball in. There's an injury concern once again. It's Jimmy Webster. We saw that big collision just before three quarter time. The Saints are now down, down a man as they've already activated their sub. He's gone down into the rooms. He has a cut on his ear, but also limping from that collision. All tied up. Can we start the opening round and finish the opening round with a draw? Back into the congestion. Throw. Darcy. Schultz. Oh. Use of the body. Sarong, Wilson feeds it on nicely. Chapman, can he find a chest? Trying to thread it through to Henry. Had the speed and the cleverness. Ryan, back to Chapman. To Aish, within range. Heads to a goal from 49. Hughes down there. Big fly, good fist. One point lead. Nash, clear out of the protected area. Right out, please. That's a good kick. Right down the spine, aggressively to Bytel. Sinclair, Wood. Aggressive. Sinclair makes it work. Collected it on the move, gathers, looks up, sends it long. Owens might be up, he waits. Filippo kind of had his name written all over it. And Gresham lands the blow. Saints back in front. Just clever transition that time, Jordan. Much, much more considered. Didn't blast the ball and had ground level. This bloke's been terrific again, backing up his All-Australian year last year. But it was over the top, not short. Interceptors were nowhere to be seen. And had numbers, had the numerical advantage. And they didn't get past the contest too, didn't they? So Filippo competes in the air, the small state at the front. You're right, it's all from the build-up. So Sinclair started it at half-back and he was the one delivering it inside Ford 50. Never once blazed away. It was really calm when they built the ball up. He's been terrific again today. Sinclair along with Wilkie and Crouch in and around the middle of the ground. So Banfield's now out there. No sign just yet as to who Fremantle have taken out of the game for the rest of the game. Good attack. Hunter Clark and Brody went at it. Clark, Higgins, Filippo, clean-handed. Hunter Clark, they're going to run on here, the Saints. Pox spills at Gresham. He could pounce again to make it two in two minutes. Clark, Young, O'Meara. Pierce Hughes. Yeah, I think if you're free man, you just need to settle a little bit. St Kilda are up and about with ball in hand, but also their pressure's been great. She's had won the ground balls in the last five minutes, haven't they? And it's been a good weekend for the new coaches. Clarkson, Brad Scott, Adam Kingsley. They need one more for the full house. Tabernet is the man that's been subbed out, so he's in the back row by the looks of things. 
for small for a tall. Banfield's pushed forward. Marshall flicked it down. Steele put his boot into it. Big hit his shoulder on Higgins. Austin was attempting a mark. Play on advantage. Filippo, he didn't want to waste it. He's got some poise, the kid. Puts it out in front of Hill. Wheels back. Kicks it inside. Caminiti flies. Did he mark it? He plays on. Hands it. Wood. It's a second his kick like that. She's a great move by Caminiti. It was, wasn't it? it? He just had to bring it to ground. I mean, great work by St Kilda. They just keep coming, keep coming. The kick just missed. That was a great transition of play. The kick was on. Bradley Hill was free inside forward 50, but this was the one. Cox has been sensational all day of those intercept marks. I mean, if... So this is the button we've spoken all day about Fife. Where does he play? He's played forward. He's had no real impact forward of the ball. And as you look out there, he's still not in the middle of the ground. I think it's now you press that button and get him involved. Because right now, St Kilda are running over the top of him. Saints have kicked the last four goals of this game in response to Fremantle kicking three in a row to take the lead. Still an eternity left. Toe poked a half forward. They have the numbers. Brody pounces, runs inside 50 for the instant reply. Misses. Got to press up now, Frio. Put the pressure on St Kilda, try and keep it up that end. Angani Malira has had the kicking duties all pre-season. Oslan likes it in his hands, and he normally likes to chip it for the one-two. He goes longer. Higgins and Young. Young plucks it from him. Hush fallen over the Saints fans here. And the spear pass to Fife is spot on. They'll let themselves down there, St Kilda. A, the kick, you don't kick it to Higgins. And B, then just opening up the path and not being aware that the corridor had been opened up for Nat Fife, and he just came straight through, as you can see. And a lot of talk about his goal kicking. New season. New position. Two-time Brownlow medalist. It's out to the right, and it might not score off hands or behind. He's got the short available, and as you said, Dwayne usually comes past for the one-two. Yeah, and they know that he wants it, and he might still get it back. He doesn't. It's a longer one-two. Burns. Smother. Brilliant from Hughes. Committed to it. Oh, not on the computer. <laughs> They've had some trouble with leaks over at St Kilda. <laughs> nice one. Back into play. Jackson to do the work. Tied up with Cordy. Secondary knockdown. Filippo jumps in. Can't find a target. Got him. Brayshaw inside, Clark dumps it on. Stocker wrapped up by Banfield. And Wood's cramping in the middle now. He won't be the only one. Hey, 17 on 18 at the moment. He does get up, but he's hobbling Wood. And Ryan, another pick-off mark. He's got his hand up, but... <laughs> Frederick. Gallops into it. Corralled by the fresher pattern, who is the star. Battle one grab, not the second. Henry pounced on it. Hamill missed the target. Wilkie to Hill. Breaks away, the one-two. Henry worried him out of it. Feeds it back. Jackson gets his moment. The new recruit uh, can't handle it. He was good by Henry. Just never gave up on the play. Had to chase Bradley Hill. Good pressure in the Ford 50. Just a couple of opportunities now that they've just missed. He's had a good game, Henry. 
Glenn Jakovic has uh, been championing his cause for a long, long time, promising that he would get there. And uh, this has been a terrific start for him. Cordy rolls it toward the line. Owens, good poke pass. Caminiti, he turns. Oh, he was in his zone there, trying to come off. Was Cox. He walked straight past him. Caminiti inside 50 without getting the 50. Philippo with some poise again. Feeds a handball on. Can he get it back again? Numbers around the ball for Fremantle, and they dodge another bullet. Short stands under it. Fist out of play as a win for him. Burns, hands on hips. Self-inflicted wounds there, unfortunately, for Frio. They're going to find a level here, find a gear. Jordan, this is uh, getting critical now. Jackson to Marshall. Marshall, secondary knock. Sarong to Aish. To Wilson. Put Young under the heat. He's gone. Is he? He is. Oh, I think they've done that really well in the game. Whenever Fremantle start to chain the ball or work the ball through hands, they've always had one to the, to the guy with the ball, and then they just cover off all the exits, so they haven't overcommitted which just means the pressure as they handball around just builds and builds. Zane Cordy, game 119, first game for the Saints. Only ever kicked 12 goals. Good. Make it 13, his first goal as a Saint. Could be massive. Well, their intent was clear from the first minute, St Kilda. They weren't going to work, walk off knowing that they'd left anything on the ground. They could tackle, they could harass, they could make the opposition make mistakes with pressure. And if uh, that wasn't good enough, so be it. They're down some personnel, but the way they're going about it, they're only minutes away from a famous victory. And that's the difference, isn't it? You can do all the work. You've got to kick the goals when they're there. Fremantle missed a few opportunities up the other end and then St Kilda go down off the back of the pressure they've created. Zane Cordy steals himself and kicks the goal. It's four in a row now. All right, this is starting to get desperate times for Fremantle if they need to go. And Fife not even on at the moment. They need three goals in a hurry. He's not in the middle and he's not forward. Hunter Clark. Owens. Young. Handed it off nicely. Saron, Henry, still got the speed. Brayshaw, still got the poise. Gives it back. O'Meara, spear pass. Schultz could have been in the back. Umpire let it roll. That one was. Yeah. He just lost his footing and uh, body slammed him in the, in the end. Swakowski looked up but had some tall trees to kick through. Heads to the pocket. Jackson's down there. Was he edged out illegally? He had another terrific game. Cal Wilkie. They've gone inside forward 50 10 times in this last quarter, Frio, and only kicked four points. St Kilda have gone in eight times and kicked four goals straight. Darcy and Marshall. That's been a great battle. Thumps it down. Schultz nearly trapped it. Danger zone here for the Saints. Battle could almost rush it. It's nice not to, to crouch. To Bytel. Straight to Young. Yeah, this is a player, as we saw before, that can find a target. He's got a move for him in that Ford 50. Just about nail it. He pulls the kick to the leaders. Three Saints go up. Wood. Amira. Sarong. They all converge. Sinclair gets a kick away. Not far enough for the mark to be paid. Yeah, okay. silly. Well, Ross Lyon teams in the past, both at St Kilda and Free, have been really well drilled, particularly in scenario play. This is a save the game moment. He joined us late. Saints have kicked the last five goals of this game. Turnover. Schultz has no one to go to by foot. Goes by hand to Tracy. Hasn't been his afternoon and he can't make it his moment. Wangan in Malira. No, he had to kick it. He was outside the 15 metres, just had to find a mark. 
They've done well here, Fremantle. Fife trying to come back on. Cox trying to come back on. Ton of time left. 7.25. Fife and Cox, as mentioned, preparing to come on, but they still can't get them on. Marshall wins a free. Every possession even more important now. Owens buffered it out of it. Ryan dumps it back. Marshall gets back. Hands on it. Catches Swikowski. Darcy. Sarong. Bouncing ball inside 50. Wangani Malira at front spot. Frederick caught him from behind. In that congestion. Patton's been good since coming on. To Howard. To Wood. He's had a splendid last term to Higgins to steal. Just got to make sure they've got extra numbers. If they go long, got to have the numerical supremacy. A couple of times St Kilda have blasted away and seen it turn around with extra numbers for Frio. Cordy got up. Gresham the crumb. Filippo. Gresham houses his way to it. Feeds it long. Young got a fist on it, knocked it down. Pierce. Henry. Young. You. Just had to barrel it. Got plenty on it. Steele couldn't mark it. Gathers the crumb, feeds it back to Sinclair. Frederick's got the speed. Worries him out of it. He's got it and he goes. Has a bounce. There's no one in the square. Can he go for home? He launches. Goal square. Oh. Battle. Really re well read by Battle. Just waited till he committed so he couldn't square the ball to his man and then charged the goals. Patton. Higgins. Outside five. Outside five. Finished 10th last year, the Saints. Been a big summer, new coach. They're five and a half minutes away. It's an eternity. Fremantle need three goals. Sean, Owen. Walken, Ross Lyon muster. Unfinished business. He talked about on his return to the club. Coaches his old team against his old team. 66 to 52. But they're not home yet. Darcy thumps it down. Trapped by Burns. To steal. Gains metres. Stays in. Young. Clark. Philippu pressurises the kick. Got it. To Pierce. To Banfield. She's hey, keeping some numbers back, St Kilda. Yeah, they're doing open, well. I mean, they're open on the open side, so. They didn't want to follow Fife up, but ultimately they had to. He's got one. Fife's got it now. He looks around. Chapman. Stand. This is the thing in Fremantle to get back in the game. They need to show urgency, run and carry, break the lines. Back to Fife. Play on. Play on. Sits at long. Marshall got up there, went for the fist. Frederick keeps it in to Henry. Goes boundary side, shrugs the tackle, feeds it inside to Brody. It's got some space. Schultz, not quite, stays in. Still a moment here. Oh. Gresham gets back, attacked it. It's a roller, and it eludes the chase of Cox. Oh. Insufficient intent. Oh. 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 Cox dumps it back. Didn't hit it well. Wilkie got there, got a fist away. Boundary. You know, I can see why the umpire played it, but it wasn't a bad result if you Gresham. At least you get it a little bit further down the field, 30 extra metres. Well, get a chance just to set up behind the ball. Yeah, I thought it was deliberate. Well, he only has to have the intent to keep it in. As the rule reads, Stocker. Steele, the captain's leading them. Goes long. Owens can't mark it. Pierce. Free kick. Owens ball. Well, he got a second chance there. He had the positive position at the back. 
let one go through to the keeper, but got another chance. Sits it up long. Filippo went up. Couldn't mark it. Sarong crumbed it. Dangerous oh. kick. Waggedy Malira. Now, the pressure from Field has been superb. And as soon as Sarong got the ball, Frederick was trying to spread to the open side. Malira just kept his eyes on the ball. Rossline likes him doing the kicking in because he can hit a target. He hits the target here. They're home. He's kicked one goal six for his career. One six. From just inside the arc. One seven. You expect this one to go straight down the middle, Jared? Well, I think it's time we saw some fast for you. Yep. Yep. Three goals, three minutes. And it's essentially the equation. You're not going to chip your way around and get two goals, three goals they need now. Down the spine, Wilkie, Marshall. Marshall claimed the mark. Didn't have first grab. Steele toes it off Check. the deck. Higgins attacks it one way, Chapman the other. To Cox. Fans it out wide and they've got space. Frederick can go. He knows he's got Hughes. Puts it to him. Heads in the five direction. Can he get there? Got there. Couldn't mark it. Stocker crumbs it to Wilkie. Clark, Sinclair, Owens. They've got all the answers. And that's the other kick they've found so well. When they're under pressure and the ball is in dispute inside their own defensive 50, they've found that exit kick. Yeah. Been really composed, but a couple of really good efforts. Over the back, Cox. Ryan. Miss hit the barrel attempt. Floats it to the middle. Wood. Hill. For the knockout blow. Gresham's running back toward goal. Can he pounce on it? Gets the bounce. Kicks it around his body. Full forward across the face. And it rolls out of play. Hit the post there too. Let's hope he's okay. He can slowly get into his feet. He does look okay. I wants to do the ruck work against Darcy. Been some sort of performance this from the Saints. Talked about their injury list. Got about eight of their best players out of this lineup. Ross Lyon, the master coach, is back. No Max King, no Membry, Caulfield, Ross, Billings, Zach Jones, Win Hager. All not available. Blasted out of there. But time and the scoreboard both against Fremantle now. Little paddle out to battle. They are spent, the Saints. Swakowski to Jackson. Fans don't know how long left, but they're not far away from singing the song. So it's been an incredible victory based on just hard work, this one, Jordan. Yep. I mean, to keep Freo restricted to seven goals is an enormous performance. Sarong, what was it? Inside 50. But again, the Saints have the numbers and the know-how. Cordy, Steele. Hughes hammers him in the contest, gets it back, feeds it inside. Up flies Howard. Free kick, Saints. And the seconds keep ticking. And those Saints fans that have made the trip, they got to love this siren. And that's sure. what you want to see. In, in your football side, don't you? You want to see effort. Yes, they've made some mistakes, but gosh, the effort has been extraordinary. Sinclair heads wide to steal, and it would be appropriate if the captain has it. As the siren sounds. I think the song's going to be extraordinary in the rooms. The dawn of the new Saints under Ross Lyon. The foundation set up. 2023 and beyond. Unfinished business. Lost Lion said when he returned, and they started with a win. 10 7 67 to 7 10 52.
I mean, it was a really impressive performance. Right from the start, you're right, Jerry. You could, you could see the intent. The intent to just apply pressure, force them down the line. Terrific team performance as we head down to Sarah Jones. I've got the skipper with me here, Jack Steele. Jack, that was a sensational start to the Roth Line era and a gutsy win. How are you feeling now? You look physically spent. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty hot in here. Um, I'm pretty knackered off that one. I think we all will be. Um, but I'm still so loud. I can barely hear, but what we were able to do then and slow their ball movement down, we understand they want to control the ball and try and pick us apart. So, um, you know, our defensive system was able to hold up and we got our opportunities going forward as well. So much was made about the, the injury list and just how decimated the forward line was. What did Ross do to inspire that confidence in the boys? Um, you know, Ross is all about effort and cracking in and giving, you know, 100% everything really. So that's what he asked of us today and just to stick to the process and not so much the results. So it was great that we could walk away with the four points. Um, but it'll be the same again next week. The debutants looked right at home in both Matthias and Anthony Caminiti. How big of a boost is that youth when they come in and do such a great job? Yeah, it's just, it's unbelievable that, um, you know, they get their opportunity in round one, especially for someone like Anthony Caminiti, um, who was on the list seven or eight weeks ago. So it just shows that, you know, anything's really possible. And if you, you know, want to come in and like what I said, what Ross says, is he's bring 100% effort, um, you've got to get looked after. And they were able to kick, um, I think Mateus was able to kick his first goal today, which is awesome, but it's just so special they could do that. Talk to us about those back-to-back 50-metre -back penalties and what Ross's reaction was at half-time. Um, well, I was a little bit worried about what that re reaction was going to be, but he didn't address it, which was good. Um, you know, I suppose the captain and the vice-captain were the two that gave it away, and we, we knew straight away that it wasn't the right thing to do, so I'm sure we'll hear about it on Monday, but it um, wasn't mentioned uh, at half-time, so it was good. A brilliant start, and from that you can get some momentum. What do you want to get out of this season? Um, we just want to keep getting better each week. That's that's the thing, I think. Um, you know, we're not setting a limit on how far we can go, but as we saw tonight, anything's really possible with, with the squad we have, so we're just going to keep going week by week. We'll let you go and grab a drink of water. Thirsty work out there. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate it. Well, just having a look at the score sources, six goals, five from turnovers. I and mean, Ross would be thrilled with that, just the pressure. They came with a plan. They wanted to disrupt the way that Fremantle play the game way the free men released the ball from uh, their back half and Ross said pre-game they had a look at the way Collingwood uh, did it in the uh, semi-final and uh, it's worked a treat all based on hard work Nick Del Santo well down here with first game up Mateus what a performance one game one victory trying to describe the feeling oh look I'm, I'm at a loss for words to be honest with you when the siren went I just couldn't stop smiling I was looking around wanted someone to celebrate I just couldn't stop smiling unbelievable moment I'll never forget it Speaking about smiling, we'll give it a close eye on you. It was a beautiful goal led by uh, that mark that you took, and then you wouldn't stop smiling after that. What did that feel like? Yeah, I tried to keep a lid on it straight after, but when I turned around, it's all the boys coming towards me. I had to let out and come on. And yeah, then when all the boys got around me, it just I couldn't hold in my smile. It was too good of a moment. Loved it. It's been a big six to eight months for yourself. You're extremely young. You look like a youngster out there amongst all these huge men. And Cox was uh, superb in the way that he set up behind the football. What were the instructions from the coaches in particular, Ross Lyon, before the game? Yeah, from a team standpoint, we just wanted to get up and then get back on them. We felt like we were doing real well at getting up, but then we just had to get back and surf them in and we'd keep wearing them down. You know, we thought we were fitter than them, and I think we proved that throughout, throughout the full length of the game, so, yeah. You're a South Australian boy. How many family and friends are here? I'll, I'll, good amount. Pretty much everyone. So it's awesome to have that support. Absolutely love them, so it's, it's brilliant. You know the words to the song? Yeah, I do. I do. Yep. I, I, I've got them ready. Well, you're going to be in the middle of the circle, so you better, better sing it loud. Congratulations on your first game, and what a great win. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.